just a country boy. Just a country boy. Living out on the farm. You know we out on the farm. I got pounds on the other side of town. With the crop in the barn. I can smell it all the way over here. Just sipping on shine. You know we're sipping on shine. Sipping straight from the jar. We drink it straight from the jar. Combine harvester thrashers. Ooh, wow. Hang on just a second. Hey everybody, this is Lance with Combine Harvester Thrashers, and welcome to Monday Morning Facebook Live. I thought I'd jump on here really quick and let you know that Pennsylvania is sunny, warm, beautiful. It's just gorgeous in every way, shape, or form. I just got done cleaning up the pit area, and I was looking at the pit and just, uh, just thinking it's going to be raining for the next of the week, and it to be honest with you guys, this next year is not looking much more promising and less rain than last year. So I think we need to start thinking and preparing for another wet year of rain and some of the things that we need to start doing and some of the things that we need to stop doing. Um, so I'm just going to run through a few little things. Um, if you're logging in right now, please like this video, share this video, and let me know what you guys are up to in your part of the world. I'm uh, probably not going to many people going to watch us because it's mostly just ag stuff. Um, I showed you some of the wheat that I pulled out. That's where our wheat is. This was planted. Uh, this was winter wheat, so it was planted last year. Um, so it's got as early a start as possible. Will nature let it? and um, it's coming up pretty good. It's got a good stand. Um, there's some spots right out here where the drill uh, left some skippers, um, which that's normally you probably had a seed to plug up. And then also uh, out some in these areas, there's groundhog holes. You can't stop the animals from digging holes in your field, not unless you shoot them all, um, which is what a lot of farmers keep in good practice. Um, but one thing that I wanted to point out right here <clears throat> is this. It's a huge problem. We got this big, huge bare spot in this field. Hopefully my neighbor doesn't get mad at me for showing this. But this happens to all of us farmers. And what happens is when you're harvesting your soybeans, corn, whatever it is, in the fall, and you're cutting along with your combine, and you stop. And you stop for whatever reason, and you don't move. Your combine makes this chaff line in the field. And as you can see, there's no wheat growing. Um, the, I mean, some wheat came up very, very lightly, but even that's not uh, very healthy. The wheat wasn't even fully immersed into the ground, which is a problem. Um, that wheat stalk will probably go there, but all this wheat right here, and I wanted to show you guys right down in here, I'm not going to dig too much. You have a row of wheat, and it comes here into the chaff, and we don't have any sprouting, anything. Actually, to be honest with you, there is actually a wheat seed right there. There is an unsprouted, unpollen, un non-growing piece of wheat because it's hidden underneath all this chaff. Um, there's a lot of different theories on how to fix this. Well, number one, we're going to nip this whole problem uh, from this happening. And I spent uh, three years out on harvest with combining, and I preached this really hard with all the operators and everybody. Don't, if you pull out of a crop, don't 
ever, ever, ever stop when you have a machine. It's an operator error, and this will happen in your field. You need to, it, you know, the simple thing, whether it's going forwards or backwards, I can understand breakdowns and stuff like that. Everybody has those that simple problem right there of... <clears throat> of breakdowns where literally the machine just stops right where it's at and you can't control making but doing that what i told guys is go out behind your machine take that fodder and kick it out from being on a pile get it level like the rest of the chaff is spread out behind the combine um, usually a lot of things that i would do when a combine is i would pull out i'd lift my header above the crop and drive forward until my tires were at the crop and then I started backing up. Obviously looking in your mirror, you don't ever back up without looking in your mirror. And um, th there's just a, there's a lot of different opinions on how to prevent this from happening. But one is from, for some reason or another, stopping because you have a problem and not keep on continuing moving. So that's a little problem that we're gonna have with all this higher moisture in the ground rainfall that we're getting from uh, the weather um, that's really going to hinder us if you have any uh, material on top that has been left from that um, there's a good chance it's not going to get down in the ground um, and also another thing is this crop was sown while it was muddy outside so there was actually mud getting slung up on the back of the drill and it wasn't because the farmer wanted it that way it's because it rained so much that we didn't have any dry days to actually get weed into the ground um, and by the way this is a neighbor of mine I've just been watching what he's been doing um, so it's easy for me to sit by and judge what he does and point out all the imperfections of what he does but this could happen to me as well as a farmer I could make these exact same mistakes so from my point of view if I planted this crop I would be pointing out this is the mistake that I made personally um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I thought I'd throw that in there a little bit. If you like the music and you want more of it, let me know. Because uh, I randomly ran across that song and I'm like, hey, I'll play it for you guys. Um, but yeah, you guys have a great day. Get out, enjoy some sun, sun, sunshine if you're on the East Coast. Um, yeah, and like always, see y'all later. Keep on farming. Here's Facebook.